determine the required length of cord AC in the figure so that the 8 kg lump can be suspended in the position shown. The undeformed length of the spring AB is 0.4 meter and the spring has a stiffness of 300 newtons per meter. So in this problem, of course, ang first step na gagawin natin, uh, mag-assign tayo ng ating axis. Alin ba yung positive or alin ba yung negative? So yung ating axis, gawin natin uh, yung standard we have here. So any forces that are going to the right that is positive, so x-axis, any forces that are going upward is positive y. So otherwise, that those are negative. Then we draw the free body diagram of this figure. So let's analyze first kung ano ba yung required. Ang required dito is the length of the cord AC. Okay, ito. Ano ba yung haba ng cord AC? Dapat for the system. So, in our analysis, if this load here, the load, the weight of this lump is exerted here at point A, the spring here will actually elongate. So, mag-elongate siya. Okay? So, since na mag-elongate siya, that will affect the length of this cord AC. What affects the elongation of this um, spring is actually the tension in this cord AB. So, let's find the tension in AB that causes that elongation. If this is 2 meters here, guys, okay? So, using your trigonometry here, so this side of your right triangle, so ito, itong side na to, this is length of AC here. This is cosine 30 degrees, okay? Itong side na to, here. This is LAC cosine 30 using your trigonometric functions. Then, the length of this, okay? The total length of this AB here, let's say AB, length of AB is equal to your original length, okay? The original length of AB, which is ito, 0.4 meters, plus its elongation, let's say x. Kasi if you have a weight here, ang lamp natin may weight, mahihila niya yung spring dito, okay? Pag nahila niya yung spring dito, mag elongate siya. So, i-consider natin yung elongation na yun. So, mahanap natin yung elongation na yun based on your tension on this cord AB. So, let's draw the FBD. So, the point of application of the forces are in point A here. So, ang ating tension AB is directed here. Okay? It pulls this uh, lamp. So, this is tension AB. Then, your other force you have here, the tension on the cord AC. So, this is TAC. So, ang angle natin dito, this is 30 degrees. Then, ang weight natin dito, guys, this is downward. This is your, the weight exerted by this lamp. So, ang weight ng lamp natin is mg. So, m natin, mass of the lamp is 8 kg mass times your acceleration due to gravity. That is 9.81 meters per second squared. So, ang weight natin here, that is in newtons, that is 78.48 Newtons. Since may weight na tayo guys, so ang next step na gagawin natin is to apply the equilibrium condition. So the summation of the forces, the summation of the forces along the x-axis is zero. Assuming that all the forces going to the right are positive. So here, yung ating forces that are acting along the horizontal axis is of course yung tension AB. Then, you have here the component, x component of tension AC. If it is your angle here, this is TAC cosine of 30 degrees. And its y component is upward. This is TAC sine 30 degrees. For f of x, tension AB is actually going to the Right, so this is positive. So TAB, so minus, because TAC cosine 30 degrees is going to the left, this is TAC cosine 30 degrees. No other forces are acting on the x-axis, so this should be equal to zero. Let's just erase this for, para may space tayo for solving. So weight is 78.48 newtons. Now for summation of f of y, that is also should be equal to zero, okay? The summation of forces along the y-axis should be equal to zero, assuming that all the positive forces are going upward. So this is positive. Y-axis, there are only two forces acting here. We have here 
TAC sine 30 degrees and your weight which is 78.48 newton. So TAC is upward so that is positive. So TAC sine 30 degrees so minus your weight. Weight is downward so that is negative. So minus W equals 0. Now TAC here sine 30 degrees equals weight. So, add ka ng W both sides. So, weight here is 78.48 newtons. So, therefore, TAC is just equal to 78.48 newtons divided by sine 30 degrees and that is equal to 156.96 newtons. And using this tension AC, we can find tension AB here. So, tension AB Okay, that is equal to TAC cosine 30 degrees. So, therefore, tension AC is given by 156. So, this is 156.96 newtons. Multiply natin yung angle which is cosine of that angle 30 degrees. So, this is equal to... So, tension AB is equal to 135. So, this is 135.93 newtons. Okay. Then, we draw a separate pre-by diagram for the spring so that we can find these elongations. If at point A, the forces is, we have here T, A, B, okay? So, we have here the weight, W, and your T, A, C. So, if you break it here, we have another pre-by diagram of the spring naman. So, if this is pulling here, it also pulls the spring, okay? It tends to elongate the spring. So, if this is your spring, your pull will be like this. So, if this is TAB, of course, this is also TAB. And using equilibrium of forces in the spring, this also counter effect force is also tension AB to balance that out. So, here it tends to elongate the spring. So, it makes sense here. You can, you can imagine if kung meron tayong load dito, of course, mag elongate yung spring dito because of this lump here. So, neglected na guys yung mangyayari yung parang downward. So, parang tatabing siya dito sa y-axis. We assume na yung hinge dito is hindi siya gumagalaw. It only moves here in the x-axis. Okay? So, neglected na yung downward elongation niya. So, we just assume yung elongation niya here yung elongation x. Okay? So, using the tension AB, so using the concept that force of the spring is given by kx where K is your stiffness or spring constant. And you can find this elongation here. F is TAB because it is the force that is acting on the spring. So this is TAB equals KX. So therefore, X equals, you have here, TAB all over K. So X equals, we have here X equals, so tension AB is, 135.93 newtons all over. So, yung K natin is given sa problem. That is 300 newtons per meter. So, that is our stiffness. 300 newtons per meter. So, let's solve for that. So, yung X natin is equal to... So, yung X natin is 0 0.453. Okay? So, this is 0. 4, 5, 3 meters. So, yung total length ng AB. So, length of AB, okay, that is length of AB, is equal to the original length. Of course, pag nag-apply tayo ng force dito, mag elongate siya. So, i-add natin yung elongation, that is X. Okay, so, yung original length niya from the problem, that is 0.4 meters. So, that is the undeformed length or the original length. So, that is 0.4 meters plus yung x natin elongation that is 0 0.453 meters. So, length of AB that is equal to 0 0.853 meters. Okay? So, this is length AB here. So, this is length AB. Okay? So, this is length itong length na to, if this is length this is length AC here, yung hypotenuse ng triangle na to. This is LAC cosine of 
30 degrees. Since itong side is the adjacent side, this is our angle here, 30 degrees. So therefore, 2 meters, okay, 2 meters is equal to LAC cosine 30 plus we have here length AB. So just substitute then, we can find for that LAC, the length of the chord AC. So 2 meters, we have here LAC cosine 30 degrees plus LAB natin is ito, 0 0.85 meters 0 0.853 meters so length of ac is actually equal to so 2 meters so it transpose natin yung 0.853 sa kabila so maging minus siya so, 0 0.853 meters so divide natin so coefficient ng lac which is cosine 30 degrees so that is length ac so, LAC, you have here 1.32. So, approximately yung LAC natin is 1.32 meter. So, this is our final answer, guys. Ito na yung answer natin. So, upon, upon the load here, yung load natin, the weight ng lamp, yung ating spring is mag-elongate siya ng 0 0.453 meters. Okay? So, in order to predict the length of AC, we need that elongation. So, that elongation actually depends on your tensions. That's why the analysis of forces in equilibrium are important in these types of problems. So, that's it for today's video, guys. I hope that you have learned from this. And I hope to see you on my next video. See you guys. Thank you for watching. And I hope that you hit that subscribe button and notification bell so that you'll get notified on our future videos just like this video. See you on my next video guys. Stay safe and God bless you all.